All right, well, we had a weak system move through today. That brought us about an inch of snow, but it will continue to work its way on to the south. And uh, we'll see flurries as we head into the evening and maybe even a few more as we go into early tomorrow morning. But as we go throughout the next few days, temperatures will stay on the mild side in comparison to what we saw yesterday. And then as we head later on into the week, that's when things really start to cool off for us. And we'll take a look at that coming up here in your seven day forecast. Right now, 21 degrees, mostly cloudy. Winds coming in from the south at 14 miles per hour. And wind chills, or I mean current temperatures across the region. 21 here in Marquette and seeing more of the 20s off to the west, 23 in Ontonagon, 21 in Ironwood and more of the lower 30 or 40, 20, sorry, here in Florence and Menominee at 21 and here in Tamunising, 21 degrees, 25 in Escanaba at 21 into Ishpeming and the teens off into the Sault Ste. Marie, into Sault Ste. Marie and in St. Ignace. But winds coming in from the south and that's going to continue to keep us from dropping off too much as we head into the evening. 12 miles per hour in Houghton, 15 in Marquette and at 16 in Munising. Temperatures across the state, lower 20s and mid 20s across most of the UP, farther south, more of the lower 20s and even the upper teens here into Alpena at 19 degrees. But look at wind chills, a lot more pink showing up in comparison to what we saw uh, going back to Friday. Eight degrees here into Marquette, 11 in Iron Mountain and at 13 in Escanaba. Chilly, chilly three into Sault Ste. Marie. For your headlines, we'll continue to see more of the light snow tonight. Snow begins to end early on our Tuesday as we could see a, some partial clearing heading into Tuesday evening, but it, skies uh, will remain, I would say, generally cloudy as we go into Tuesday night and also into Wednesday before we'll have our next chance of snow and that will start to arrive as we get closer to Wednesday night. And that's going to give us a better chance of seeing more accumulating snowfall. We've seen these little weak systems come in from here to there. Uh, this one looks to bring us a good two to four, maybe even three to six for most of the area. But this is our setup for right now. Little little area Area of low pressure working its way through and chilly, chilly air for us across most of the UP. But as we go into tomorrow, we'll see that that system will be gone and we'll just be primarily dealing with mostly cloudy conditions on into the afternoon. Here's a look at your future cast model. Snow showers really begin to dwindle as we go throughout the night and then also early tomorrow. Uh, some sunshine will be in store for us as we go into the afternoon hours before more clouds do rebuild in front of our next disturbance that will come in from the northwest and bring us our next chance of snow by Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. 11 degrees for your overnight low, so it will be chilly out there. Some scattered snow showers also in the forecast for us. South southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Hey, for Tuesday, early snow. South southeast winds at 5 to 10. More of the upper 20s in Lawnsville, even lower 30s over in Tontanagan at 30 degrees on the dot. 28 degrees in Crystal Falls, and we'll call for 28 in Munising and 27 in Manistee. Here's your seven day forecast. As I said, we'll remain right around average or just above average as we go for the next few days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and also for Thursday. But look at how things really cool off heading into the end of the week and definitely by the beginning of next week with highs only in the single digits.